What's up guys, it's your girl Hannah, back with another video. So, I am going to share with you guys today how I basically keep myself financially stable. I'm going to also give you guys tips on how to make money that I don't even really do, but it's more easy for like anyone to do. I thought really long and hard about this video, and you might not have been expecting this type of video from me, but I think it's a very useful type of video, and I know that <laughs> when you're trying to adult and pay bills and everything, it is really stressful sometimes. These things I'm going to talk about could be a good side hustle if you already have a job or maybe if you still live with your parents house and you want to start saving out more money and making more money on the side while you go to school. These are also think good things for that and some of these things are more long-term things that you kind of have to put more effort into but will give you more money in the end of the day. So first I want to talk about making money and then I'm going to talk about how to save the money you make. I'm also going to have links down below to pretty much everything that I can link that I'm going to talk about. About today so yeah just look down there if you have any questions about what I'm talking about or anything I probably have a link for it down below so without further ado let's just get into the video first I'm just gonna start off by saying where I make most of my money obviously I have a YouTube channel so every month I do get paid for my videos from Adsense obviously that has to do with you know however many views I get that month and you know if they're all monetized so I get those monthly checks and then I also do brand deals and brand deals are actually where I think most social media influencers make the big bucks. So brand deals definitely pay pretty well. And I use a bunch of different platforms in order to get in touch with brands. You know, if, if I um, don't feel like I have another brand deal coming up as soon as I want one to, I will go onto these platforms and um, look at the campaigns that businesses have put up, asking influencers like myself to propose a deal. You can just go and see what brands are looking for, what kind of influencer, and you can propose a deal to them, and that's how I do a lot of my brand deals. And I will have um, a link down below talking about all of the best platforms in order to get in touch with brands. But yeah, no, if you have, I don't know, 5,000 or 10,000 followers, like you can still make money off of your posts. So that's where I make most of my money and then I also do presets on Instagram. I got with a photographer who knows how to make presets and we created my own presets. I love my presets so much, <laughs> shameless self promo, but that's actually a really nice side income as well. Oh, and Poshmark, I love making money on Poshmark. You can like list 10 items on Poshmark and then in a week or so if they're all sold you get 100 bucks and like oh there you go, like you can go shopping with that. That is how I personally make most of my income. I'm also going to go through the ways that you can make money on the internet that I don't. You can also do something like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this on Instagram, but on Instagram I see that girls will get together, or maybe it's just one girl, and create a Instagram for their local area, or maybe not even local, and they have girls come and list their clothes on that Instagram, so it's kind of like a little marketplace they created, and how they profit off of that is they charge, you know, like two two dollars and fifty cents per listing. If you really work at it and get that account to be really active and consistent, then more and more people want to list stuff on your account. And I actually did try this, but I'm just trying to focus on so many other things in my life right now. Like, so I, it kind of fell through. But me and my friend Abigail did start a Instagram in order to do this, but we just didn't stick to it. And if you stick to it, like I've seen some really successful Instagram accounts like that. So I hope that makes sense. I hope I didn't explain it weird, but, and it's kind of fun because you can like decide if you want your little marketplace to have a certain vibe. You know, girls will DM you and be like, hey, I want to list something. And you say, hey, send me a picture. Then you're able to say yes or no, we'll sell it for you. That's kind of like a fun little thing that I kind of see that's going on. Okay, and then the next thing is also something that you have to be very diligent about if you want to really make money with it. And this, I suggest this for anyone who likes social media and is good at sales. And I'm going to talk about multi-level marketing companies. I know it sounds, it always has a sketchy taste in people's mouths, but I did try a multi-level marketing company called Arbon. I tried Monet before, but I really, I didn't think it was for me. I did try Arbon for a while, which is a vegan nutrition line. Was all, they actually have everything actually, like they make makeup, deodorant, like literally anything you could think of, Arbon makes it and it's like most natural form. It's a multi-level marketing company, which means that you can join the company as a salesman kind of, or consultant. You are able to sell the products to your friends and family and then you get commission off those sales. And a lot of girls will go to social media 
about this. I personally don't like cold messaging. Like that's the one thing I will say if you're gonna go multi-level marketing company, just don't bother people in their DMs because you're already setting yourself up for a super low chance that they're going to be like, oh, like, what is this? Because so many people are doing that. I think it's best to just post about it on your story and talk about how that brand is actually affecting you and your life. And then people will be like, oh, hey, like, can you hook me up with this? And I, I know that this is controversial. Like a lot of people say that multi-level marketing companies are scams and it's a pyramid scam and a scheme and but you know, I definitely have seen girls with these companies who are very, very successful and it's because they just drill down into it. So, and I mean, if you find a product and a brand of a multi-level marketing company that you really, really love and believe in, why not? And if you can make real money off of it, why not? Okay, and then this is for if you're a crafty girl. If you love to craft things or like, I don't know, make jewelry or dream catchers or scarves or, you know, knit things, like use your creativity and open an Etsy shop, <laughs> which is awesome and really exciting because it's like your own little small business. I have known some people in my life who have done Etsy shops before and they were really successful at it. And of course that's gonna take more time if you're gonna make things to order. But if you are super crafty, opening up a Etsy shop is not a bad idea, girl. Okay, and then you can run a blog with ads. Yeah, so I mean, if you put ads on any website or blog that you have, that is gonna generate revenue. And so if you have any specific passion that you would love to just like write a whole blog about, like, like fashion or food, obviously that also is something that's gonna take a lot of time. Anything that makes money is gonna take time, damn it. <laughs> All these ways to make money, guys, are so cool because you can make this money while you're in your sleep. You know, if you have something up for sale on the internet or just like something to offer, there's a great chance that you can get money from that. And then the last tip I have for making money online is freaking surveys. And I know I have personally never had the patience. I never really have the patience to even get to the end of a survey to see if it actually does pay me. I did do some research on surveys that actually do pay real money. And if anyone has the patience to, or if you just want to get that extra dollar holla and you've got some extra time, just click on that link um, for best surveys that actually do pay. And of course, eBay eBay's always there. <laughs> and yeah, guys, I think that's all of my tips for how to make money. And if you have any better, or if you think of any better, you know, alternatives or options to make money online, please, please leave it in the comments down below. This is something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while because the girls have DM'd me before being like, how do you make money or how, like, what are ways to make money online? All right, guys, and then saving the money that you make and preserving that shit. First of all, you should always, always plan and budget things especially when you're about to go out to have fun. Before you go out, just sit down for 15 minutes maybe and look at your bank account. Think about your financial priorities in the near future. So say you have rent coming up and you have to pay bills. Add up all that money, take note of when you have to have it by, and then look at how much money you have at that moment. Take out that much money possibly and put it in a savings account so you already have that money reserved for when you need it. And then you have that extra money that you know that you won't feel that bad spending. And then that way you you can't go out in the world and just spend too much and then be really disappointed when you check your bank account. Everything really does add up. So that's something that always makes me feel secure when it comes to taking care of bills and rent. I always put that money aside. So yeah, always plan out and budget what money you need and what money you should spend okay and then guys I want to talk about like my favorite app ever and no this is not sponsored I'm gonna talk about an app called digit and what digit does is it automatically saves your money for you like you literally don't have to think about it so let me, let me elaborate. How Digit works is that you link it to your bank account and then every day it takes out a little chunk of money from you. The amount of money it takes out every day always depends on how much money you have in your bank account. So this is like not like mathematically correct or anything, but say you have like $100 in there. So that day it's probably gonna take, I don't know, maybe like $7 out and save it for you and Digit. And then the next day, say you have like $6, it might take like 20 cents 
that day and put it in your savings account. So over time, you're literally saving money every day without having to think about it. Like a week goes by or two weeks go by and you open the Digit app and you see that you've already saved a couple hundred dollars. So I've had this app for over a year now. Another thing I love about it is that every morning it texts you your checking balance account. Like how much is like, it's like, good morning, Hannah. Your checking balance has this much money in it. So that automatically takes away from my like anxiety and like unwillingness to check my bank account because you never, you ever spend money and then you're like, oh shit, I don't wanna check my bank account now. And then you just don't. Well, I don't have to deal with that because right away in the morning at nine o'clock, I get a text message from Digit that's like, Hey Hannah, this is how much money you have in your bank account right now. Another thing I really like about Digit is that you can go in and put a low balance protection thing on it. So let's say you don't want your banking, your bank checking account to go under $50. So every time that your bank account goes under $50, Digit notices that and then it adds however much money from your Digit account to your bank account to make it back up to $50. So that's pretty cool and you don't have to have it on, it's just like a setting you can do. You can make more than one savings account within Digit, like you can have your retirement account and you can have your rainy day account. I definitely made an account for the Colorado trip I just took. I wanted to make sure I had a good chunk of money to spend while I was there, so I just asked Digit to save that money for me. So that's pretty cool. It is free, the app is free, but in order to keep using it long term, I think it does start charging you maybe like $2 a month which isn't very cash money of them, <laughs> but I really don't think I would be saving as well as I do without Digit. And the last thing I wanna say about saving your money that you make online, guys, is if you are making a good amount of money each time you get paid off the internet, that money isn't getting tax withdrawn from it. So, and I believe it's like, don't mark my words on this, but I think it's payments over $600 you do have to pay taxes on. And definitely double check that, but it's really important that you know if you don't work for a company and you're self-employed and you're making money on the internet, you're gonna have to pay taxes during tax season and not getting a refund like all your friends who do work for a company. So in order to prepare for this and not be, you know, super shocked and disappointed that you didn't know that was coming, make a savings account just for your income tax. What I do is every time I get a big chunk of money in, I put a quarter of that into my income tax account. That way by the next time that tax season comes around, I'm prepared and I might even have money left over from what I've been saving, which is like my own little tax refund to myself. That's just something I have to say because I know they don't teach you that in school. I definitely feel your struggle when things don't feel like they're gonna work out or they may never work out, but the key is to just keep being consistent with anything you do on the internet. In order to gain people's trust and attention, you have to be consistent, and that's a huge thing that I've learned <laughs> in my career. Um, yeah, I think this video contains all of the financial advice I could really offer at this time. I'm definitely working on some huge things that I can't talk about yet that I will be talking about this summer. I've definitely been super, you know, drilling down more on my bank account and my just financial status because I need to preserve my money for the stuff that I'm doing because I am taking money out of my own pocket to create something that I think is awesome. So I hope y'all are excited. I'm excited. Yeah, that's it guys. I hope you guys got some useful information in this and if you did, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and maybe commented what you liked about it or, you know, share it. That would be amazing. Also, if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe down below. I put up videos every Monday and Thursday. I'd say uh, my channel's been pretty bopping with the good content, so stick around. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day or night, and I will see you in my next video. Hope you come back. <laughs> Bye, guys.